Buddy. My name is Isaac Gray and today we're going to be going over how to find the vowels in a string. So to start off we need a user input so they know uh, so we can identify what information uh, to process. So let's make a form and inside this form we're going to have a couple inputs. All right so the first input let's make its type equal to text and this is where the user will put in their string. And then we need to give it a name so we can target the input. Let's call it T1. Okay. And now we need a second input. This one we're going to make uh, equal to a submit. And uh, we'll give it a value. And we'll call it submit. Okay, so now we need an onClick event. And uh, this onClick event, we want to return a function, let's call it vowel. And we're gonna target the form and the uh, text uh, area value. And that's what we're gonna use. Oops, to process our function. Okay. Next, what we need to do is we need to uh, have a div, which is going to display the area, um, or it's going to be where we display uh, the output, and it's going to uh, tell the user. Uh, how many vowels in their string uh, there are. So uh, now we've got the basic uh, user input, uh, user submit, and user output. Go and close the form up and let's uh, add the function to, to deliver this. So we call the function vowel and we're going to make it uh, by passing in string and the first thing we should do is uh, we're going to create a variable called matches and uh, matches is going to be equal to the string uh, but we're going to use a dot map method sorry dot match method which is going to uh, take a parameter and uh, we're going to give it all of the vowels in the English alphabet and we're gonna make it um, global. So again, all this line is doing is, is uh, looking at the string and seeing anything in the string that matches uh, A, E, I, O, or U. Okay, so now that's targeting in the string, we need to create another variable. And uh, this variable is gonna be equal to uh, a ternary operation. Um, so that's this uh, question mark you see here. Now, if you're not familiar with the ternary operation, how it works is it's much like a, a, an if-else statement. Uh, it's just written in a different form. So basically, it's going to look at matches and say, okay, if uh, any of the letters in the string uh, match these letters, then you're going to make it equal to the matched length, which is always going to be one because these are individual letters, they aren't a sentence. Um, but if none of the letters in the string match these letters, then uh, else the uh, length will be equal to zero. So that way we only get uh, an increment of one if the match is indeed uh, corresponding with these letters. Okay, so now we need to uh, create the display so that the user can see how many vowels are in their string. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna target that div in the inner HTML, we're gonna make equal to empty quotes plus uh, the string and we're going to add a 
contains and then we're going to add counts because we want to know how many uh, numbers are incremented and then we have vowels and that way the console should read or I mean the output should read uh, whatever string the input contains whatever number of vowels okay so to wrap this up we're going to return false so it runs, runs through just once and uh, just like that we now have a, a ternary operation within a function um, that uh, determines uh, if there's a match and if there is it uh, makes that uh, matches length uh, part of the variable count so uh, let's go ahead and let's test this out so we go to our browser and we refresh we're going to get an input box and as soon as we enter as you can see it's uh, gonna have our uh, output just how we wanted it and let's go through the vowels here we got a is one vowel and one more a and that's it so it says it contains two vowels and that way we know um, is indeed working we'll go ahead and add uh, some more on here just to uh, you know make sure and as you can see it incremented um, according to uh, the extra vowels we put in place. So uh, as you can see, fairly simple concept. Um, if you have any uh, questions, uh, you can uh, reach my uh, GitHub at uh, GitHub Isaac G11 and uh, view my source code there. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a great day.